Hello and welcome back to the final video in this series, video 14 for topic one, system fundamentals. Here we're going to be describing strategies for managing releases and updates. Okay, and this is for the IB diploma program in computer science. So topic one, system fundamentals out of the four core units. Okay, and as you can see, we're right at the bottom here, one video for software deployment. Okay, so what are we going to do? In this video, we will explore various strategies for managing software releases and updates. Understanding these strategies is crucial to ensure software remains functional, secure, and up-to-date. We will cover different methods for deploying updates and patches, discuss the implications of performance issues, and examine common types of release management methodologies. So, the video will cover the following key points. Identify and describe various strategies for managing software releases and updates. Explain the benefits and drawbacks of automatic and manual updates. Understand the role of patches in maintaining software security and performance. Recognize common types of release management practices, including continuous delivery, agile development, and DevOps. Okay, so let's have a little look at this. Strategies for managing releases and updates. So managing releases and updates involves planning regular software updates and implementing automatic or manual update methods to fix issues and improve performance. Okay, we can use patches to address specific vulnerabilities and employing strategies with continuous delivery, agile development and DevOps ensures the software remains secure, functional and up to date. Release update patches. Let's have a little look at these key points we've just been talking about. So release. A product release involves launching a new product or an update version of existing software to users. If you've got a smartphone, you'll know that periodically you will get a message on your phone saying this software needs updating or some of the apps that you've installed will require updating from time to time. There are regular release cycles, so we plan regular software updates such as monthly or quarterly to introduce new features and bug fixes. You'll see this a lot with iOS on your phone. Scheduled updates. Scheduled updates during non-business hours to minimize disruption. So it might say your software is ready to be updated. It is scheduled for midnight tonight. Do you want to continue? Yes or no? Okay. You click yes and the software, hopefully while you're asleep, will update and you wake up in the morning and you've got new software on your mobile phone. A mobile app might release new features and bug fixes every month. Okay. So Automatic updates. An update is a software file that fixes problems and improves performance. Updates are downloaded and installed automatically without user intervention. Sometimes, as I said before, there's a little message that pops up to say, yes, you agree with it. Updates get installed automatically. Usually your TV is a good one of these. If you've got a smart TV as well, as soon as you turn it on, it might say, I need to update. The PlayStation 4 was very, very good at this at the most inconvenient time. And same with Windows. Updates are installed automatically, making it easy for inexperienced users to get their get their updates, get the updates done. No need for the software manufacturer to contact every user about the new update. That's the last thing you want, isn't it? Disadvantages though, users miss updates if they are not connected to the internet. Users might not be informed or if they've run out of space on the mobile phone, it says you, we can't install this update. Users might not be informed about major changes to system functions brought by updates, okay? Example, as we said, Windows and Mac OS often automatically update, and this is enabled by default. Manual updates. An update is a software file that fixes problems and improves performance. So manual updates, updates initiated by the user or IT administrators for better control. Users have more control over which updates to install. Users get to know if an update brings major changes to how the system would work. Um, the disadvantages with this, users might miss an update fixing security issues. Users might not know how to install the update correctly. Users might harm the system by wrongly installing the update or the wrong update. Users might also lose the medium containing the update. If it's come on a disk or a USB flash drive, they might lose it. For example, users must manually update mobile apps via the App Store. Okay, and finally patches. A patch is a software update inserted into the code to fix specific issues or vulnerabilities. Um, for this function is to fix bugs, install new drivers, address security vulnerabilities, and improve stability. A critical security patch is deployed to fix a known flaw in an operating system, for example. 
Okay, common types of release management. There are different ways to manage software updates to keep them reliable and efficient. Continuous delivery, agile development, and DevOps are methods that help make updates faster and easier by focusing on teamwork, by focusing on quick improvements, and using technology to automate tasks. This helps save time, reduce costs, and make sure the software works well and meets business needs. So let's talk about these. Continuous delivery. Well, to define it, a software engineering approach that produces software in short cycles, allowing reliable releases at any time. Um, it reduces cost, time, and risk by enabling incremental updates. Okay, Agile development, an approach to software development that involves adaptive planning, evolutionary development, and early delivery. Encourages rapid and flexible responses to changes through collaboration. And then finally, development operations, DevOps, this is a culture and practice that unifies software development and operations, advocating automation and monitoring throughout the software lifecycle. Obviously the benefits, shorter development cycles, increased deployment frequency, and more dependable releases aligned with business objectives. Okay? So in summary for this final video, understanding how to manage software releases and updates is essential for maintaining functionality, security, and performance of applications. Okay, by learning about various update strategies, the role of patches and the different release management methods, students can better appreciate the complexities involved in software maintenance and the deployment. Okay, as always, three questions. State two benefits of automatic updates. Describe the process and benefits of continuous delivery in software release management. Explain the advantages and disadvantages of manual updates for software. Now these can be short answers, okay? We're looking anywhere between two and four marks. I've not given you a mark scheme for this, but let's have a little look. So state two benefits of automatic updates. First of all, automatic updates ensure the software is always up to date without requiring user intervention. And they make it easy for inexperienced users to get the latest updates without needing to do anything manually, okay? For question two, continuous delivery is a software engineering approach where software is produced in short cycles, allowing reliable releases at any time. The process involves building, testing, and releasing software frequently, which helps reduce the cost, time, and risk associated with delivering changes. This approach allows for more incremental updates, making it easier to respond to feedback and improve the software continuously. Okay, and finally, question three, disadvantages and advantages of manual updates. Manual updates give users more control over which updates to install and informs them of any major changes to how the system works. This allows for careful testing and ensures compatibility with existing systems. However, manual updates can be time consuming and users might miss important updates that fix security issues. Additionally, users might not know how to correctly install the updates, potentially harming the system if the medium which contains the update is lost, such as the USB flash drive, the user might not be able to install the update at all. They might have to go out and buy a copy of the latest release rather than just installing the update. Anyway, that is it. That is it for this video. That is it for 1.1 Systems in Organization. Thank you very much indeed, and I will see you next time for 1.2. Bye for now. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I would be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.